Pleasant good evening to my family in Christ. Peace be unto you from God the Father Almighty. This is your host this evening, Teacher Marva, speaking to you, wishing you all the best for the new year. God has been good to us. I know he has been good to me, and if he's good to me, I know he has been good to you. Blessings from God the Father Almighty. Today I am grateful. You know, I am grateful to God that I made it to see 2023. And you must give God praise for making it. Many people that we know didn't make it. So I want to give God some praise today because he is mighty to save and he's strong to deliver. And no matter what happened, God is good. Happy New Year to you. Good morning, good evening. It's nice to be here, to able to greet and touch you with words of love and comfort. You have, you have kept me, you have given me courage, you have given me words of consolation. I want to thank all those that listen to the song of my voice, wherever you be. Whatever state and condition you are, I want to tell you, be grateful to God and to beg him for mercy. So today, my beloved brethren, you know I have a funny little voice, just go and come. But I want to give, you, give God some praise. I want to sing a nice little song that I love in the hymn book that I am... Um, going to ask the Lord to bless us. And this is some a, a little hymn that we all know, and it says, How sweet the name of Jesus' song in a believer's head. It's sweet his sorrow is wound and drive away his fears it makes the wound dead spirit whole and calm the trouble brother this man to the hungry soul and to the weary rest. The name the rock on which I build my shield and hiding place my never failing treasure fail with boundless stores of grace Jesus my share but Savior, friend, my prophet, priest, and king, my Lord, my life, my way, my end, except the praise I bring. I would die born, Let's love proclaim with every fleeting breath. So shall the music of thy name refresh my soul in death. Family in Christ again. How sweet! How sweet the name of Jesus' song. And the word said, only in a believer's ear. It's suiting your sorrow, it's healing your wound, and it's driving all your fears away. 
another one that I want to just touch you with. It says, Pass me not to gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry while on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by. Savior, blessed Savior, hear my humble cry. While as thou as thou art calling, do not pass me by. Let me at the throne of mercy find a sweet relief. Need thee in deep contrition, help my unbelief. Savior, blessed Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Trust and only in thy merit would I seek thy face. Heal my wounded spirit. Heal my wounded, broken spirit. Save me by thy grace. Savior, blessed Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Though, today I want to ask God this evening, do not pass us by. Family, do not pass us by. I want to ask God, do not pass us by. I want you to remember who God is in your life. Don't matter what going on, don't matter what circumstances, don't matter what, there is, there is nothing that God cannot fix. New year, new rules. The Lord give the instructions, you know. He gave me the topic for the year, mercy. Family, I want you to remember, you know, last year he gave me the word. He said the word is from everlasting to everlasting thou art God. And I line it up this year. He gave me mercy. Mercy. Be merciful, Lord. I have to beg God for mercy. For myself and all those that listening to the song of my voice are begging God for mercy. From everlasting, everlasting, thou art God. He tell me God in the morning, God in the evening, God in lunchtime. Every, I have to remember who God is. Now that I understand that God, you know, without God, I can't live and I can't die. Without God, nothing. He said, no, beg him for mercy. <laughs> mercy, mercy, Lord, mercy. Grant us deliverance. Family, thou art the God of life and peace. Thou art God and God alone. Satan, the busy adversary, trying to get us on the other side. But I am here to tell you, stay put and learn of God. Find yourself a Bible class. Find yourself a church. Find yourself a place where you could worship God. Make sure, do your research. Make sure and do your research, you know, because it's not every man that say God really mean God. Do your research. Do not listen to anyone. Do your research. And ask God for guidance and mercy. And wait on instructions. Do not follow multitude, you know. 
Because I want to tell you, there's a lot of people calling their name servants of God and they're lying. The things that are coming out of their mouth is not of God. And I could say that surely without, without thinking because I am in it and I'm listening. And as God say, he eyes are blind, he ears are deaf and he hands are short. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and He will strengthen you. Don't follow them, let them go their way. But wait upon God. This evening, I'm about to ask God for mercy. I'm about to ask God for strength for you and all those that listen to the song of my voice. This is not a friend thing, this is a holy thing with God. Holy to the mankind, and talking about being holy, you know. But this is what the Lord says. He said, be ye perfect as I am. I do not believe man can, cannot be perfect. I believe as long as God say it, it could be done. But we have to learn to give up. You see the things that charm us was, we have to learn to give it up. And if we can't do that, we better start to beg God for mercy. Family in Christ, let us, let us touch and agree. Wherever you be, let us touch and agree. We don't have to be in the same place, but we could touch. I could feel your presence and you could feel mine if you let go and let God. Let us bow our heads, eternal and ever wise God. Father, I come to praise and I come to glorify your name. For your name is worthy to be praised and your name is worthy to be held in counsel. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Father, you create me and you fashion me in your own image and your own likeness. You are the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I come on behalf of all those that cannot call upon you, Lord. I call on all those that don't know how to call on you, blessed Father. I come, Lord, on behalf of them. I come to tell you, Lord, to be merciful unto mankind. Don't deal with us as we deserve, oh God. But pardon our going out and our coming in. Strengthen us. Heal our body, our mind, our soul, and our spirit. Grant us a transformation of heart, body, soul, and spirit. Father, I depend upon thee. I depend upon you in the morning. I depend upon you in the evening. And I pray, oh God, that you will continue to guide and protect us all, those on Zoom. Father, Lord, you know needs and wants. I bring in Amanda before you at this time and our Lord. Father, you know Amanda even better than I do. Father, you know her from her cradle days and even unto this present time and hour. I pray, oh God, that you touch her from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Remember the offspring of the body, remember the companion, remember the family circle, O oh God. Father, Lord, knit and bind them together, O oh God. Send a healing power, Jesus. Father, heal the body, the soul, the spirit, the family. O oh God, Jesus, are depending upon you at this time and hour. Father, you said to knock and the door shall be open. Father, you said to seek and we shall find. I come in, Lord, because, Lord, no other help have I none. You are the great physician. You could do all things, Father. You speak and it was done. You said, let there be light and there was light. Father, you breathe breath into mankind. This evening I come before you, oh God. I come, oh God, bringing my heart, my body, my soul, my spirit, the companion of my life. Father, I thank you for his spared life and his tender mercy. I thank you for the healing of the body. Jesus, you know what I want to tell thee, O oh God. But you alone know the meaning of my groan. Remember the ark of the covenant and every member, Jesus. All those that I lay my hands upon, wherever they be at this time and our Jesus, creating them a clean hands and a pure heart. Tell them, use God and God alone. Father, Lord, pass by them, Jesus, at this time and our. Father, as I lift them before you, O oh God, I beg you, Jesus, to be the guardian and the guide and to hear them when they call. Let not our slippery footsteps slide this evening, but, O oh Lord, hold us lest we fall. Help us to, ab to, to abide 
by the will of God. Help us to read and understand. Father, oh, this evening send help where there seem to be none. For you are the great God of yesterday, today, and forever. I need you, oh God. I need a friend. Remember Sister Jane this evening, oh God. Sister Jane Payne, remember, oh God, and the offspring of her body. Remember the companion. <laughs> Father Jesus, take charge of us, O oh God. Remember us, O oh God, at this time and our Jesus. Every soul, Lord, that I teach a mother, Lord, bound to pray for Jesus. Every soul that crying out unto you at this time and our Lord. Father, look at mankind, Jesus. Look at their state and condition. Father, look at the West Indies, O oh God, are bringing Trinidad land before you, O oh God. Father, Lord, oh, I beg you this evening, oh God, speak, Lord, your word this evening, oh God. Father, so much crime going on here, there, and everywhere. But I, your servant, come before you this evening. I come stretching my hands to you for no other help do I have. I come, Lord, without no strength again. I beg you, pass by the hospital, Lord, smooth bed and give them rest. Those on the wayside this evening, oh God, help them to beg and receive. My God and King, Lord. Those that cannot pay their rent this evening, Father, send help for them, Lord, where those seem to be none. Those that hungry this evening, supply their needs this evening, Father. Master divine, where you are in glory, I teach a mother coming to give you praise and coming to give you thanks for spared life and tender mercy. Father, you have kept me right through 2020. Oh God, Lord, and I know that you will keep me through 2023. Remember the offspring of my body. Supply for her, Lord, as thou seem best. Open a way where thou seem to be none. Look at the ark of the covenant again, every member, Jesus. Father, Lord, have mercy upon them. You know their needs, you know their wants, you know they're sitting and you know they're down rising. Oh Lord, God, change them to suit you, Lord. Father, I, your servant, that you have chosen, Lord. Father, I, your servant, that you have chosen to do your work and to lead your people. I'm coming, Lord, because I don't know how. So I'm coming, oh, Lord, that you will direct my path and you would lead me into this new millennium that we are in. Father, human beings are not the same as they used to be. Mankind has changed. So I'm coming before you, O oh Lord, so you will direct my path that I will be able to do your work in this time. For I need you, O oh God. I need a friend. I need you to suit and pity my condition. I beg you, God, to speak to me, Lord, that I may understand. Send dreams and vision, O oh God, however you choose. For you say, Lord, that you will choose. You will speak to whoever you choose to speak to. I come in in meek humility. I come in with a humble heart. Because without you, Lord, I dare not live, and without you, I dare not die. You alone, you have my life before you. And as I come as a humble child before you, begging for mercy, begging for strength and courage, begging for unity within the church, I pray, oh God, Lord, that you bring us closer together. Don't deal with us as we deserve, but pardon us as the day come and go. Remember my spiritual offsprings, Jesus. Father, you know them even better than I do. Those that are close, those that are far. If I have done anything, Lord, anything, Jesus, if I teach a mother, I've done anything, Lord, to cause any conflict or any any and any any problems among them, I beg your mercy this evening. I beg your pardon and I beg your forgiveness. But oh God, this evening, Jesus, I depending upon you. My desire is to lead man and to lead man right to the best of my ability. So Jesus, I beg you this evening. Have mercy upon us. Watch over us. Father, cancer taking over mankind. Father, cancer taking over mankind. I beg in your God, Lord, to send medicine to soothe the complain. So many things are going on with us. So many diseases, Father. We can't even. We can't. I can't even follow it. Every time you turn is something. I don't know the rightest word to utter unto you, Lord. 
All I could ask you is for guidance and mercy. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Grant me a heart of love and peace. And prepare me for the coming kingdom. Remember all ministers, Jesus. All houses of worship. All those that have a desire to serve you. Forgive them for wrong. Grant them mercy and deliverance. Father, depending upon you here, Lord. Remember, Mr. Jude. Father, thank you for the man's servant. Wherever he be at this time, Lord. Smooth his bed and give them rest. Strengthen his weak frame. Build him in grace. Direct his path. Help him to know you better. This evening be merciful unto him and his family circle, Lord. Father, depending upon you again, I depending upon you, my whole thoughts and heart and mind is on you. Take charge of us, Lord. Remember America land, Father. I thank you, Lord, for it. I thank you that you has taken us from one stage and you has brought us here. I pray, oh Lord, Lord, that we would live up to your word. And we, Lord, in this, new, in this new life that we have, help us to understand. Take charge of the body, the soul, and the spirit. Father, Lord, remember me, teacher, Mava, about to travel once more. Grant me traveling mercies. Grant me, teacher Marva, and my company traveling mercies. Guide us, O thou great Jehovah, for we are pilgrim in your barren land. Father, we weak but thou art mighty. Hold us with your powerful hand. Father, come on my bending knees. I come, Lord, because I have sinned and come short of your glory. Father, I'm not worthy to call your name, but I'm begging you for mercy, Lord. I'm begging you for guidance and I'm begging you for strength. Keep me, Lord, ever abiding in your truth. I come asking, Lord, for a fresh supply of anointing. Father, a fresh supply of anointing, Lord, that I will be able to walk life dangerous road. And able to lift my eyes, someone commit my help. For I know that my help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I depending upon you, Lord. I praising you and I glorifying you. Because you kept me. You kept me, Lord. You. So I glorify in you and I thank you for keeping my loved ones. Bless us all. Whatever state we're going through, I know, Lord, you could fix it. We All we have to do is to abide by the word this evening. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy run thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So my family in Christ, as I said before, Happy New Year. Be grateful to God for life. This is a new design by God. For us, his loved ones. For those that he said he got to prepare a place for us, that where he is we may be also. Let us continue the journey in glory. Let us say hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Glory and praise to his holy name. For his name is worthy to be praised, and his name is worthy to be held in counsel. Brethren, time for change. Because Christ is coming again, 
and he's coming for prepared people. Make sure that your passport is in order. Check it and make sure your citizenship is intact. For the Lord is coming again and he's coming for prepared people. The kingdom is ready for those who have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. And who is standing on the promises of God. That where he is, we may be also. For those who are soldiers in the army. Lace up your boots. Because the time is here. And we have to choose. Which side we leaning on. We have to make a decision. Either you're on the right side or you're on the left side. Ask God for strength in these difficult times that we live in. The Lord said we have not because we ask not. Ask the Lord the question that you need to ask him. My question, Lord, where do I go from here? What is the task before me? Help me to understand. Help me to walk and be not weary. The Bible said, how excellent is thy name in all thy earth. Who has said the glory. I want to be able to be in your glory this evening, Father. Grant me the, grant me the transformation of body, soul, and spirit. That change, that excellent change that the Lord said that he's going to give unto us. But we want him to, we want to ask God for conditions. We want better conditions. We want a healing of the mind. Strong faith. And an, an, an unwavering heart. Too many times, brethren, mankind heart is unwavering. One minute you're here, next minute you're there. One minute you're here, next minute you're there. You're not sure, you're not grounded. Some of us are going like on thinking horse to battle. We're not sure. We are two faced. You show me this one, and tomorrow you show us somebody a next face. Fix up. This two-faced thing and go walk with God. Remember, he's the reader of your heart and search of your mind. Fix your business. There is time to fix it. The time is now. Beg him for grace and peace, love, unity, joy, guidance. Ask God. I want to bring a word for you because I, when we ask God grant us deliverance and that lesson is coming from my word is coming from first king third chapter from the sixth verse and it go like this family and Solomon said thou hast shown unto thy servant David my father great mercy according as he walk before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee and thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day and now, O oh Lord, my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I have put a little child, I know, but thou, I know, I know not how to go out on, out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people. 
which thou has chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give, give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. Now, family, glory to God in the high. I want to thank God for this word. I want to thank him for these words. Because what I am trying to say to you today is what Solomon said to God. Solomon said to God, he said, thy servant David, my father, great mercy according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee, that thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. I am here to tell you, acts of God and he's going to grant you deliverance. Too many a times, brethren, we want to do things on our own, but we're not asking God. Hear what Solomon said to God. So after Solomon had been crowned king, God spoke to him in a vision. What would you like me to give you, Solomon? He said, ask for whatever you want and it shall be yours. <laughs> Listen to me, brethren. Let us think about self. Ask anything in the name of God and it will be yours. Could you imagine? But you see, all these things have a price. All these things have a price, you know. Hear what it says again. In the seventh verse, and it says, And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king, instead of david my father and i am but a little child i know not how to go out and or come in and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou has chosen a great people that that cannot be numbered or counted for multitude so hear what he tell him? I am but a child. I don't know how to go in or come out. So I need you, God, to give me instructions, Lord, how to take care of your people. <laughs> Solomon asks. Could you imagine that? Solomon thought for a moment then he answer humbly i could imagine that because i could be humble too because you see when you ask and you receive remember eyes is upon you <laughs> i am a young An experienced ruler. I would like to hear what Solomon Solomon talking, you know. He said, I would like to be a great king, my father. But I do not know how. How many of us tell God that we don't know how? 
I didn't remember that when I was growing up, when, when, you know, when the Lord gave me work. I didn't remember to ask all of that. I thought I knew until. <laughs> oh, Lord, I ask you to give me wisdom that I might rule over your people wisely and do as you would like that you would have me to do oh gosh brethren i wish somebody to tell me that when i when my time was come i just thought i knew and i go ahead but instead they say you ought to ask it's like our children in my house, I taught my daughter, you don't go in the fridge and take out things when you want. You ask. You see something, you ask a question, can I have? Mommy, is this yours? Can I have? Please. You have to ask. You can't just go and take. Help me. To distinguish between right and what is wrong? How many people does ask this question? Help me to distinguish the difference between wrong and right. I was taught that. Teacher Jones tell me, ask God to, to grant me to know the difference between wrong and right. To discern the difference between wrong and right. We have to ask. God was pleased with Solomon's answer. Most people would have asked for, I know, wealth, long life, or great victory. But Solomon said, give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to deal with your people, Lord. The Lord said, you have asked only to be wise hmm. wisdom you know he said you have asked only to be wise you didn't ask for nothing for yourself you didn't ask to be rich you didn't ask for for this you know like what mankind want now vanity of vanity and vexation of spirit when you watch mankind you can't even tell the difference in what's going on here it ain't, a, it ain't a worshiping God now, you know, it's worshiping man now. When you go, you have to worship them. Please don't come to worship teacher Martha. Because you know that my, you know, I just get, I just, I just get a little, whatever. Worship God. You come to church, you come to pray. You come to sing. You come to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That is what you come for and stay in your house. Or go in place where they could take that. I can't take that. Man walking in the church when you shake the hand, they're wiping the hand. Stay home. Mankind forgetting is the same hand that feed them. They're forgetting that God eyes ah, them blind and hear deaf. When you was hungry, you know where to get food. When you was naked, you know where to go and get clothes. But all of a sudden, you forget who God is. And you're going somewhere else to find the next God. Careful. Careful, you know. Hear what, hear what God telling Solomon now. You have asked. You have asked for a wise thing. I will give you wisdom. But I will also give you those things that you did not ask for. Listen, when I read that, I couldn't understand. He said, you are asked for a good thing. But I will also give unto you what you didn't ask for. Because the Lord know that he will need it. Because he crowned him king. He was wise. He said, you will be rich. And respected. And if you follow, hear this part. And if you follow my ways, you would live a long and good life. 
He didn't eat, eat. listen. This scale and measure, you know, scale and weight. Spiritual people get it right, scale and weight. Stop pretending something that is not. Stop following multitude. Stop practicing. Oh God, God, the Lord just wants us to have a broken and a contrived heart. The Lord just wants you to have a heart of love and peace. The Lord just wants us to be merciful to each other. But so far, all we're doing is throwing each other under the bus. All we're doing is passing blame and attitude and actions and all these different things that does not come under the law of God. The same mouth you're going to praise God with is the same mouth you're destroying God's people. The Lord said, touch not the Lord's anointed and do the prophet no harm. God create them and fashion them in your own likeness, in your own image and likeness. He's able to deal with that. Hands off God's people. Take your eyes off the creature and place it upon the creator. Let us start to preach the words of mankind. We get it. We preach in all different type of stuff except telling mankind how to live. How to be honest. How to be truthful. How to be merciful. How to have love. The Lord never said I hate the children. He said touch not. We all have purpose. We all have needs. We all have a desire. My desire is to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. My desire is to serve God in the beauty of holiness. What is yours? We are all God's children. You are better than me and I am better than you. We all have to die. We all have to sick. Let us come together and beg God for mercy, for healing. It's not always about you. Brethren, look in the mirror. Tell me if you like what you see. We're not fooling nobody. What we do is fooling yourself. Hear your words again, you know. He said, I will give you wisdom. But I will also give you those things that you did not ask for. He said, I am a child. I don't know, Lord, me going out and me coming in. I need you to give me the instructions that I will be able to guide your people. Father, I teach a mother asking for the same thing. I've reached a stage, I don't, uh, the Lord has been good to me. So now I need you, Lord, to strengthen my weak frame that I will be able to lead your people the way you want me to lead them. Guide them, Lord. All the doors I lay my hands upon. All those that are about to lay my hands upon, grant me, O oh Lord, the guidance to do your work. Not teach a mother work, but God work. He said again, you will be rich and respected. And if you follow in my ways, you will live a long and good life. And he makes sure you know, good life. How many people out here living good lives? How many? Too many of us saying, God say, God say, and we lie, and God ain't even, you, uh, look. The Bible said, woe be unto those that lead God people astray. Woe, you know, woe. When Solomon awake from his sleep, Comforted and strengthened, knowing that God was on his side. How many of us want that? I want it. I don't know for you because I cannot speak for you. 
I want to know every day that I wake up from my bed that God is on my side. He's there for me. Because no other help have I none. And I cannot depend on other people. I depended on someone. And when I really needed them, they wasn't there for me. They was giving me two faces. One minute you show me this face, and next minute you show me the other. And I was slaughtered. But God is good to me. He tell me, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and you go strengthen me. And so he did. Remember, you know, I will always remember, brethren, I, teacher Marva, will always remember, you must look back. Just as the pandemic start, I remember walking through my house in the corridor and I hear a voice. Where do you go from here? I didn't know all what was going to take place with me. I couldn't, I, I, I didn't have a clue. But I thank God I make it. I thank God that I make it. Father, my mouth will continue to praise you. Father, I will continue to lift my hands onto the hills so when come with my help. Because through your mercy, I have made it. I have come this far. And the Ark of the Covenant door is still open. It's still open. What a mighty God we serve. My heart does get full. Because the Lord know that my heart is desire to serve him and him only. Brethren, I want to thank God for teacher Jones, wherever she be at this time. I want God to bless she waiting soul and do she body ever good. I want God to send help for that woman. Oh God, you know my heart. Because, because of she teaching, I am standing. Because of teacher Jones, I teach a mother is standing. Arch Abbess teacher Jones, I am still standing. So I want to thank God for her and all those that listen to the song of my voice. Remember who Solomon was. Acts of God and you could never go wrong. I taught everyone that passed through the Ark of the Covenant. Everybody that passed through the Ark of the Covenant. They cannot say they see anything else. I always tell them God is in charge. Put your knees to the crowd ground and call him. He not slack concerning his promises. What he say he will do, he will do. All you have to, ha all you have to do is focus. And be a true servant of God. Brethren, I always say on this podcast, you can't fool God. You can't mama guy God. You can't come and give God a hundred dollars and tell you, give him the hundred dollars or a thousand dollars and he go go your way. That don't happen. Each and every one of us. Each and every one of us have to go through the wine press. Every, all of us have to go through the wine press. There is no favor here. There is no favor with God. So if you want to give your mouth liberty and you want to carry on and say things that you have no right to say, tell lies on others, other people taking it and they're doing all that I come to tell you, Solomon went to God. And he asked him for guidance in order to do his job. And Solomon's heart was indicted in a good matter. Solomon wasn't two-faced Solomon wasn't talking to God with one face and another face because you know God is the real heart and such a mind. Too many times we two-faced it, we pretending to be something. You want it for yourself, but you don't want it for the other. How could that work? How is work? Listen, brethren. The Lord have love for you and for me. And nobody can change that. I remember once I had a prayer breakfast and a minister said, sometimes we think that we have the key to open heaven, to put who we want to put and who we don't want to put we throw out. But brethren, none of us ain't had a key. None of us ain't have the key. All of us have to depend upon God to grant us the key. There is too many of us that are 
unfair. We are not loyal. We do hypocrite and deceit. We saying one thing and doing another. I am saying new year, new rules. Change the ways and action. God is a forgiving God. This year, we praying for mercy. And careful. I want to say to my people, especially women that calling yourself mothers and saying God give you mother and mother and mother and mother. I said, check yourself. You have to learn first what it means to be a mother. Not the foolishness that we talk, we doing and, uh, and wearing pretty clothes and call it mother. No. When you're calling yourself teacher, check yourself what it means to be a teacher. What it means. Green teacher laugh. You want to teach and teach right. If you don't know, say you don't know. God is able. You don't know, ask. When someone come to me and they ask me a question, I don't know, I say, listen, right now, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go to God and go and read and I'll come back to you. Say you don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. The Lord promised to grant us that deliverance. So my family in Christ today, I love you. I love God. You hear me? I love God. I love God. Because God first loved me. And when man say kill, God say save. When man say destroy, God say save. And for that reason, brethren, I, teacher Marvel, will always be grateful to God. Because the word said, the arms of flesh that fail us, we dare not trust our own. <laughs> you see the word trust? If you cannot trust someone, you can't live with them. You cannot worship with them. Because you cannot turn your back. And the very sad people, sometimes we think we trust is the very sad person going to destroy you. And it have some people that we cannot tell, don't walk there, you know, it have something. Because if you do, and you say, well, you know, so-and-so waiting, so-and-so. Be time you go there, forget that person, and that so-and-so coming after you, you know, because nobody can keep them out shut. You're trying to save them, but they don't want to save themselves. So you have to leave them. Let them go, let them go and do what they have to do. You don't worry and try to hold them. Let them go and do what they have to do. Because you know, there is a silent listener to every conversation. And there is a see, unseen God that's seen all things. I am here to tell you, God is able. He's a God of mercy. And if you ask him for guidance and instruction to do his will, he will keep you. You want to go to look for a job? You ask God. You want to go to this? Something wrong with you? You ask, ask. I holding on to this. He tell me I ask not because I, I have not because I ask not. I don't want to be there anymore. I want that when I get up to do something for the Lord, or when I get up to do something for myself, I am walking with confidence because God has spoken and he has blessed us. So today, my family, all those who are sick and sad, all those that are going through some serious circumstances, all those that have some real pro issues, take it to God in prayer. Close your mouth. Stop talking to, about your business. Stop talking and focus. Focus on God. Focus on the Holy Spirit of God. Who don't want to believe in God? That's fine. No problem. But you and me who believe, let us keep our eyes on the mark. Be still and know that thou art God. Family in Christ, may God bless you. May he cause his face upon you and grant you peace. My love, 
to all those that help this podcast all those that send a helping hand in some form or some fashion all those that give a word of consolation all those that find that this podcast is beneficial to them may we continue in jesus almighty name all those who are about to come come in love and peace else don't come I thank you, and may God bless you. We thank the Lord for this, our spiritual food. And most because of Jesus' blood, let manna to our soul be given, the breath of life sent down from heaven. For Christ's sake, amen. God bless your family. Love you. When his wounded hand touch mine, when his wounded hand touch mine, my Jesus set me free to all eternity when his wounded hand touch mine. Lord, I feel like going on. Lord, I feel like going on. I am on my way to glory. Lord, I feel like going on. Heaven bless you. Remember mercy. And to all my friends and family and spiritual children out there, may God have mercy on you. Remember, I love you all. I may not like the things that you all do and say, but nothing, nothing, as I said, will separate my love for you. God bless you.